please inspect your whole o-ring gasket on your bowl make sure it's in good condition and if it needs to be replaced just replace it now i'm just taking that rubber thing off Now I'm just gonna clean everything really good. Like I said on your bowl, make sure this is working. And it's working good. Install this one. Make sure this is clean also. And I'm installing the last one. And now I need to install the bowl. I'm flipping the carpet over to install the top. Make sure it's all cleaned. I already cleaned mine. Okay, and now I'm done with the top one. And now we're gonna start assembling the carburetors back together. All right, so now we can start assembling the carburetor. So right now I'm just plugging in the fuel lines into each other carburetor. I'm gonna flip it. And install the other fuel lines. These are, actually no, these are vacuum hoses. And now install this for the Throttle. Don't forget your little, the little tiny pins. We can install those. So there were three gaskets that I was concerned about. So I did repla um, I replaced them. Here I'm gonna replace them right now. As you could see, they're, the, all, all the other gaskets were good, but these were, they're kind of worn. I mean, I, I was worried that it wouldn't have a good seal to the carburetor. And I was worried that air would get in the carburetor. But if you can, try to reuse your other, your, your, um, yours on your engine, because I just went to the Yamaha dealership and only one of these o-rings they're seven bucks a piece and it's, it's ridiculous how much it is just to replace these that's why i try not to replace them if i don't have to so now this is what it looks like i installed the new o-rings a lot better it's a lot cleaner it's a good so i'm gonna install it on right now and i need to put the bolts through it other piece and the bolts will screw into the other plate Okay, so I checked the torque um, 
sitting on these bolts and all the 10 millimeter bolts it says that it should be torqued down to 8 newton meters or 5.9 foot pounds so now what I'm doing is I'm installing these um, zip ties back on where they came from what I'm doing what this is is these are the tubes for uh, vacuum pressure and you just want to install these zip ties exactly where they came from and you want to make sure that you have no holes in your lines or anything because if you do you can have an air leak and that's not good you want to replace them if you do So what I'm doing now, I'm just putting those vacuum tubes where they're supposed to be through these things on here and making sure everything is clean. And install the air box. Okay, so I got the air box on. I torqued them down to eight newton meters or 5.9 foot pounds. And now I'm gonna install this right here. A little washer goes right there in this little tiny clip. It's gonna go right in here. Just like that. It snaps back on. And now we're ready to move on to install the carburetors on the boat engine. So now we're putting the whole carb assembly back on. Remember you gotta feed this tube in the, between the intake manifold and the engine block. This tube goes in between here. There we go. Just have to pop in where the air box is, just put pressure right here. It pops right in. I'm gonna hook this up, hook up the right color. Here's my red. Hook this big tube up. Two screws that hold the air box right here. We just want it in there, just don't tighten it up because we have to, once we screw these in, the, it's gonna compress some more and just wanna leave these loose. So now, just install the bolts. The six bolts that holds the carburetor into the intake manifold. Okay, so all the bolts are in. I have to torque it down. Same as the other ones, it's eight newton meters or 5.9 foot pounds. So here's our lever, you gotta hook up. That controls this whole throttle mechanism on the carburetor. I'm trying to get it in, and then snips right in. So now what I'm doing is I'm just hooking these back up right here with the clips. So right now what I'm doing is I'm installing the top cover. And uh, it's everything, everything is on there, it's complete. And I'm gonna start up the motor and I'm gonna show you how to balance the carburetors now. So right now we're gonna check if the carburetors are properly balanced. Here is a um, Carb Tune Pro. It's a really good balancer. I recommend this one instead of the liquid ones. This is like a metal rod and it raises up and down. I had experience with the liquid ones and they really suck. This is the best one to my knowledge. 
that it will actually work good. So you can go to your intake manifold or remove these three screws, they're 10 millimeter bolts. Now in your kit you receive these nipples with some with that has thread at the end and a whole ring. Get the right size, screw it in. And if you're wondering where these hoses go to, they're going to my gauge, which is right here. And when I start the engine, you're gonna see these um, little rods come up. What the goal is is you want to get um, the three rods as even as possible and I'm going to increase the throttle so you can see it a lot better. As you can see I needed to do a little bit of adjustment. What we're doing is we're adjusting the butterflies in the carburetors. You have this one, this one. You just want to mess with both of these because this one it, it does all three, so you can just do this one, this one, and as you can see, you, you, you're not gonna get it perfect, perfect, but you wanna get it as close as possible. Here's the engine, everything's complete. The carburetors are balanced, cleaned with the new F25LA jets in it. Here, I'm gonna start up the engine. As you can see, smooth clean idle at uh, 950 RPM. All right, so here we are, I have the boat in the water. Um, we're gonna test the boat out. I know it's nice. We're gonna get the speed on it. So here's the RPM gauge on this engine and um, I cleaned these carbs before and balanced them and I didn't switch it jets and it struggled to pass um, 2000 RPM and 3000 RPM. It would just completely die and I put the jets in today as you, could, as you see in the video and I'm going to show you. I could gun it now, I could gun it and it, it won't hesitate to go. As you can see, it won't hesitate no more, it idles really good. Uh, 25 RPM, 2500 RPMs so with the old jets, it would just go like this. It was really bad, and now I mean, full throttle. Works really good. There we go again. Works really good.